hello and welcome to my youtube channel uh, hello friends uh, so uh, what we are going to do today is basically we are going to do an electrical board extension so for that we need an electrical board uh, i'm going to use uh, two sockets okay uh, fuse and two switches and a plug so all this stuff I got for around uh, uh, 300 uh, you can get for lesser price as well uh, depending on the quality so let's get started on how to uh, do this electrical board extension so uh, for that uh, first what we need to do is we need to assemble them so let me assemble them and uh, then we will go into the connection part so let us first assemble this properly so so as you can see here friends uh, i have done the uh, the switch assembly the the socket assembly rather uh, it's you can easily do it here you can see it here uh, just uh, uh, you have to tighten the screws uh, which are given with the sockets itself so um, I did that so now I'm going to do the switch connection and then the fuse connection so So we have tightened this part so the switch are ready the fuse is there so everything is set up so the assembly is done now we will go to the connection part let's understand the drawing so that we can do the connection line. So this is your face and this is your fuse okay and this is your switch and this is your socket and one end is connected to the neutral okay so this is your neutral so for two or multi socket connections we have to take an a connection in parallel to this part you have to take a tapping okay we'll draw a switch another switch over here okay socket so this is the so these are the socket two I'm writing it and this is socket one okay and this is switch 2 and switch 1 okay so understand that all this will be 
in the line part till here it will be line part and this is the neutral this two will be connected to the neutral let's call this line part so this uh, drawing will apply in the practical and we will do the connection so next uh, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, connect this plug with this so uh, let me first shave off the strands um, I'll explain you nicely yes so friends so now we are going to do the plug connection uh, this is the main plug from where the power will be derived so uh, you can see here uh, I don't um, let me just explain this so the green uh, wire it indicates earth it has to be connected to the earth then this is the red uh, this is this is called the phase wire or the line wire main. and this uh, black one this one this is called neutral so we have to connect accordingly um, according to the color we have to connect it to the plug right so as you can see here friends i've done the connections and uh, earth neutral line okay so earth green neutral black line of face red uh, be very careful that all the connections are nicely tightened um, nice tightened rather and uh, because uh, loose current can uh, if they are not uh, tightened uh, properly they can give some leakage current and also that all the connections they are isolated nicely they should not be touching anything they should not be touching any conductor this part is fine this is uh, non-conducting but see that they do not touch each other the phase and neutral they are completely isolated okay okay friends so as uh, we had seen in the connection uh, trying earlier so right now we are going to make the connections so first what we need to do is we need to short the neutral part okay so now uh, we will do that right now So mind you that the neutral part of the socket right the neutral part of the socket end has to be shortened so and that's what we are going to do it we are doing it right now and uh, As you can see here the neutral of the socket is shorted and then we will do the same with the earthing as uh, well so now we will be doing the earthing shorting as well so So the earthing is done and the neutral part is also done as you can see here earthing and the neutral part is done okay between the two sockets okay between the two sockets so now we will do the face connections so now we will do the face connection so for that we will do one shorting between the the end of the fuse one end of the fuse the lower end because the incoming i will give it at the top end so the lower end of the fuse with the off position of the switch or the upper part okay
so now we are as uh, we are going to connect uh, the on end of the switch that is the lower end with the L face or the line face of the sockets that we are going to show so this part is completed now we will do the same process apply the same process in this part as well okay So this part is done as well. So from here now on the lower end of the switch I am going to make a shorting with the line face of the socket. So we are going to do shorting from the switch to the L face of the socket. So tight all your tighten all your connections nicely. So uh, this part is done. Now we have to give the incoming power supply. So to earth and face and neutral. So the earth you can put uh, connect in any of the two sockets. Uh, for neutral also you can connect uh, with any of the neutral ends of the two sockets but for face we will put it in the fuse right because that is for safety the face uh, must always be with the fuse rather the fuse should always be connected with the face line so we are going to do that yes. so now we are going to connect the earthing to any one of the points okay So we will do the neutral tapping as well from here. So here we go. So neutral is also done. Okay. As you can see here, um, the earthing, the neutral, the earthing I have connected here. Neutral. Okay. Earthing, neutral. Now the face of the line uh, will be connected to the top end of the fuse, the incoming part. Okay. So now we are going to connect the face of the line part in the top end of the fuse or the incoming. Okay. So the connections are all done here. So you can see here, so earthing, face it's going like this, then from here it's going to the switch, so switch to the socket, neutral is here and they are shorted with the other, face to switch and from switch to the line face of the socket. So this is how your drawing will be looking. So our connection is over so we will just tighten the screws so now what we are going to do we are going to put the supply and check if our connection is right okay so friends we are done with the connection so we will just check uh, if the connection done is right by using this charger if obviously if it closed that means it is okay and if it doesn't that means it's not fine so i'm just going to put it and just and it's glowing okay 
now let's check with the other one as well it's going so this is uh, uh, we have completed uh, our electrical board connection so I hope you liked the video and if you liked it then please do share subscribe and comment and uh, definitely we will bring more such videos in future um, thank you for watching